In this day and age where things change as much as they do and people don't have their feet on the ground, it is good to have things that are somewhat timeless. Auberge de Pommier is very important to me because it was uh, our first sort of real fine dining restaurant. The grand mère of the company. Yeah, I, I think it's a testament to what a great restaurant can be. It's one of these really special places that you go to um, for, for an out of this world experience. It's enchantment when, when you come in to Auberge de Pommier. There's something a little tiny bit magical. There's nothing like this in the city. There, you don't find this French cottage feel in any other French restaurant in the city or probably even Canada for that matter. It has this incredible canny ability to literally transport me anyway out of the hubbub of the city of Toronto. The people who work here are honestly incredibly charming and warm. We're in the hospitality business, first and foremost. As beautiful as this place is, it's inanimate. This stuff is nothing without the people. I think the staff have played a huge role in establishing Auberge du Pommier as the restaurant that it is. Nobody works here if they don't get it. I'm, I'm really excited about what Malcolm's doing. He'll take like a, a very simple French dish and put his own twist on it and elevate it to the level of fine dining that we haven't seen here before. That's what Auberge does best. It takes great, wonderful, deep-rooted French classic dishes, but boom, they just add a snappy twist to it. It's very, very playful stuff. You have a couple of musicians who have incredible depth. They can play the blues, they can do the classics, they can, they can really bounce around it. I don't know if you've seen our desserts lately, but they are rather remarkable. They're really something. You know, people said a while ago that, that white tablecloth fine dining was over. Auberge de Pommier has shown that that's not the case. Even though we have reinvented the wheel many times here at Auberge, we have still kept the core values that has made Auberge stand the test of time. And we must never let that go. We must never dilute that. So one of the statements always made at Auberge was every day better. And I think that they actually try to live that. You know, the sky's the limit for what they can accomplish in terms of food and wine and really elevating that aspect of it. The success of this restaurant was built by the employees. You know, not about, by Marco Bonaccini or myself, but about the people who work here. And uh, they are the core of the company. This is classic and this is strong and this is beautiful and you know very, very self-assured. Let's face it, 30 years in business is one hell of a milestone.